Hi, to find and manage display settings on the Samsung Galaxy A34, we just need to go in the settings and select the display tab. And now we can adjust the setting as we want. So for example, first thing we can see is themes. We have two of them, light and dark. In dark one, as you can see, the screen is black and the text is white, but in light is reverse. Also here you can go in its settings and select to turn on as scheduled and then enable one of two options, sunset to sunrise or choose your custom schedule. So select the start point and the end point and confirm the changes by tapping done button. Now simply go back and let me just switch to the dark mode and after that you can adjust the brightness. Just drag the slider to add brightness. This is the maximum point, really dangerous. And here swipe left to just reduce brightness. And also you can turn off adaptive brightness if you don't want for your screen to adjust depending on the lightning around you. Here in the motion smoothness, you can select high refresh rate or the standard one. And here you can see the difference in these instructions. So I suggest you to keep this high one. And also you can enable the feature eye comfort shield. Just tap it to enable and you can see how the screen just become warmer, orangish, something like that. You can select either adaptive option or set a custom one and adjust color temperature manually and also set a schedule. And after that, we can see this screen mode. Here we have two options, that is natural, just take a look at the difference, and that is vivid, so the colors are brighter, juicier, and so on. Here you can also adjust the weight balance, just drag this slider like that. You can go in the advanced setting and here just adjust the settings. And let me just return it back to the normal. And now the next thing is font size and style. So firstly, in the font style, we can switch to any other option and this is how it will look. We can also enable bold font if you want to make your text more visible and adjust the font size by dragging the slider to make it bigger and left to make it smaller. Also, you can just tap on these letters. Now the next thing is screen zoom, so I guess there is no need to explain what does it mean. Just drag the slider right and here you will see the changes. And after that, go in the full screen apps and in my case there is no apps to control, so let's move on to the next step, which is camera cutout. Here you can select to either show camera cutout or hide it. And you can tap here and select one of these three options. So after that, go in the screen timeout and select any option from the list, for example, one minute. And this means that when you won't be using your phone for one minute, it will turn off by itself. Here you can also enable the school feature keep screen on while viewing. Very interesting. Here you can check this easy mode, so you can use a simple home screen layout with bigger on-screen items, a longer touch and hold delay to prevent accidental actions, and a high contrast keyboard for better readability. Just tap on this switcher to enable it if you are interested in this feature. And the next cool thing is edge panels. So basically that is this line on the right side of the display which you can swipe left and you'll see your apps here, tools, something like that, even a compass. Just tap to enable, then select this section and in the panels just add or remove some of the features, for example add clipboard. And now just save the changes by going back. Now the next thing is navigation bar. We can select either buttons like I did or swipe gestures. But in this case we would need to disable one-handed mode if it is enabled in your case. Also go in the more options and you'll be able to select another button order. Here you can enable circle to search, which is a really interesting feature. Here let's tap the continue and I'm going to quickly show you how this works. Just draw a circle around anything and you will see the similar information in the internet. 
really useful. So the next thing is accidental touch protection, really helpful, I suggest you to keep it enabled. Here is the touch sensitivity so you can increase the touch sensitivity of the screen. And here is to show charging information right in the upper right corner. We can disable it and we can enable it. And that's it for today. Hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.